two years or something. Um, but I really wanted to share with you guys a few of the things that I've been loving over the past couple months. So it's not just from February because um, there are some things that I've been using since like Christmas. Um, but I do have a lot of things, so I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to start off with my foundation like powder combination that I've been wearing lately because I've had um, a few questions about it and I've actually been really liking it a lot. So I thought I would start with that and um, it is the Silk Cream Foundation by Laura Mercier. And I never was really a fan of this foundation in the past. I thought that it was making me break out and I think it does. Um, cause breakouts if you leave it on for too long just because it is a pretty like a heavy um, foundation um, but it has a very dewy finish so it tends to look um, oily throughout the day if you don't set it so I've been setting it with my MAC mineralized skin finish natural in the shade medium plus and for reference I'm in the shade bamboo beige for the silk cream but the Media Plus with the Silk Cream Foundation, I think, looks so beautiful together. The, um, did I just say Medium Plus? I'm sorry. <laughs> the Mineralized Skin Finish with the Silk Cream looks so beautiful together because the Mineralized Skin Finish has kind of like a really smooth, creamy, um, like satin type finish. So over top of like a more dewy foundation, it gives you a really nice glow to your skin and also um, kind of smooths away any um, texture that you have to your skin. So I've been loving these two. I apply the foundation with my MAC 130 brush and this is my favorite brush for this foundation or most creamy foundations um, because it is a dual fiber uh, like flat topped brush and the reason I um, like this brush so much and I prefer it over any of the other MAC dual fiber brushes is because the distance between the synthetic fibers and the natural fibers are, um, it's pretty short so when you apply it you get a really nice finish as opposed to um, if you had like longer um, thinner uh, synthetic fibers you get kind of more of a streaky finish and then for the mineralized skin finish I apply it with the MAC 108 brush and this is kind of like a flat topped small kabuki brush on a long handle and um, that's like the best I can describe it. This is one of my favorite brushes for applying powder because it really buffs in the product. And I really like having um, a long handle to kind of have a little bit more control. So the next product that I've been loving, I'm sorry, I've got them all kind of written down in my notebook here so I don't forget anything. Um, but the next product I've been loving, or um, eyeshadow I guess I should say, is this one here. And it is called Texture and it's a MAC eyeshadow and I've been loving this for um, my transition color lately. It's a little bit darker than my typical transition color which um, used to be um, soft brown from MAC so you can see it's a little bit darker. But this one I find really bumps up like a smoky eye or um, when you have a color in the crease and you want to blend out the color into like a nice transition color. I think it's so beautiful. I'm wearing it today. Um, actually, I'm wearing all the products I've talked about so far today. And I've been applying it with the MAC 217 brush, which is my favorite brush to apply it with. And I apologize, all my brushes are dirty, but I just finished using all these products. And I like this brush for transition color um, specifically because you have the kind of like um, application and blending power all in one brush as opposed to some brushes which are better for just um, application or others that are better for just blending. And then the last product that I have been loving and this isn't actually a full-size product but I got this in a Sephora 500 point um, perk box thing and I had never tried the Copacabana illuminator from NARS before but I've heard obviously a lot about it but um, I've never been really into cool toned highlights or more pinky highlights and I have to say I'm absolutely in love with this product. I'm wearing it right now. You can probably see it. And I love it because it gives you that almost like lit from within type look or like just looks like you're radiant and it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of product. It just has like a glow to it without looking overly shimmery. So that is the last of the makeup product favorites for the month. But moving on to skincare. For Christmas, I got the... Clarisonic Aria, and I'm probably one of the last girls to have acquired a Clarisonic brush um, on YouTube because it seems like everyone has one, but I've always wanted one, I just didn't want to part with the money, um, so it was really nice when I got it for Christmas, and I had wanted this one specifically uh, because you can charge it with your USB um, port, so on a computer or like a car or, I mean, they have USB ports on everything, 
nowadays anyways. So I thought that was really cool and also I'm not sure if the other ones have it, they probably do too, but um, the little charging dock thing is magnetic. So this is how you charge it and then you just plug it into this little thing here. Oops. And then it plugs into the wall. I've got the sensitive skin head on here right now, I think. It leaves my skin feeling baby soft. So my next skincare favorite of the month has been Aquaphor by Eucerin. And um, I guess I've only been using this for maybe like a week and a half to two weeks, but it has made such a big difference in that short amount of time that I thought I would add it in here just to let you guys know. Um, I started using this just before I filmed my last um, tutorial, my last video. And I was using this on my lips because I have such permanently dry, chapped, peeling lips and it's awful. Um, so I asked you guys what you recommended for like lip treatments and I got such a, an amazing amount of feedback. So I can't wait to try some of those other products you guys suggested. Um, but a few of you had suggested Aquaphor. You can pick it up, I think, at like any drugstore. And it has worked so much better than anything else I've ever tried on my lips. And a product that I've been using with it has been UV Moisturizing Skin Cream Concentrated Glycerin Formula, which looks like this. And I had picked this up from Sephora, I guess, um, maybe two months ago. And I picked it up so that I could use it on my skin because it's supposed to be like a cult product in Japan that's been around for like ever. Um, and it's kind of like a household staple for really, really dry skin and you can use it anywhere. But I had started using it a couple nights ago and it is so good for um, dry skin. I used it for the past couple nights, just slathered it everywhere, including my um, lips underneath my Eucerin. And it made my skin feel baby soft when I woke up today. Um, so, I mean, it has kind of progressively gotten softer, but today especially, I noticed how soft my skin felt. And I hadn't used a moisturizer apart from this, um, so I'm assuming it must be from this. Just wanted to mention it. I don't know um, if it is a favorite yet. I will let you guys know in the future, just because I haven't given it enough time. But um, I really like it so far. And I just realized I forgot to share um, a makeup item with you guys. Uh, and I don't know how I missed it, but it is the MAC In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara. And my sister got this for me for Christmas. And I'm wearing it right now, actually. Um, I'm out of my Lancome Hypnos, which you guys know is my holy grail mascara. I would say this is pretty close to Lancome Hypnos. Um, it's much more um, volumizing than Hypnosis, even though that's kind of like a custom volume mascara you can kind of just keep building and building and building but this is definitely hugely volumizing um, and it's so pigmented and so black so it gives you really really dark black lashes um, don't mind my lashes right now but my eyelashes look a little bit clumpy because I sleep with a sleep mask on um, especially lately so they're like my lashes are all kind of like bent all over the place um, but this is such a good mascara and I'm just going to show you the size of the wand in comparison to my Hypnos because it's huge and I normally don't like um, big wands either because I always get mascara everywhere but if you can see it's quite a bit bigger and it's actually got those synthetic little rubber bristles. Um, and actually you can probably even see how much more black it is in comparison because um, Hypnos looks a little bit more like of a smoky black and this looks like a very, very pigmented true black. So I've been totally in love with that. So if you're watching this, Megan, thank you so much for getting it for me for Christmas. I love it. Um, but moving on to my hair care favorites. Some of you probably won't be surprised to see these because I just did um, a rave review um, about the products that I tried from this brand. Um, and this is not a sponsored video and I'm not promoting their products for them or anything like that. I just found these by um, accident kind of. And the products that I've tried so far have been um, the, well actually the products that I just bought um, have been the Moisture and Shine line from them. So I've got the Fast Food Leave-On Condition, the Moisture and Shine Extra Moist Moisturizing Shampoo, the um, Ultra Moist Moisturizing Conditioner, and the Fast Food Sulfate Free Shampoo, which looks like this. The thing that I noticed first about these products was how shiny it made my hair. I don't think I will ever find another brand or product or lineup that delivers better or as good as results as I've had from these products. These products have literally transformed my hair into different hair. I don't even feel like it's my hair anymore. My hair 
is so shiny and soft and silky and it feels and looks so healthy that you would never believe that it's the same hair. I can't even believe it and it's my hair. If you can get your hands on them or just get your hands on you know, the little travel size packages to try them out, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. That's probably the highlight of my favorites, um, this favorites video. The next favorite is a hair care tool, which is the T3 um, Featherweight Blow Dryer. I got this as a Christmas gift, and some of you who have watched some of my older videos might um, already be familiar with this brand because I love their blow dryers. Um, I had the T3 Evolution Blow Dryer, uh, and I had it for, I think, maybe six or seven years. I had it for ages. Um, but it was dropped and it got cracked open and shattered so I couldn't use it anymore. Uh, and I went without that blow dryer, or sorry, a T3 blow dryer for I guess almost a year. And I just couldn't handle it anymore. So my mom asked me what I wanted for Christmas. So I was like, if you get me anything, can you please get me the T3 blow dryer? Because I, I, can, I can't even tell you how much of a difference these blow dryers make um, compared to like the standard blow dryers without ceramic components. Um, the inside of the blow dryers have, I guess, tourmaline or ceramic, like all the components are tourmaline and ceramic. Um, so you get the shiniest, silkiest, smoothest looking hair and it almost looks like you flat ironed your hair when you just round brush it. So it kind of takes, you know, like it prevents you from having to use additional heat after blow drying and it almost gives you that like flat ironed look. So that's why I love them so much. And also they dry your hair so fast, like the drying time is just incredible. So that's the last of my hair care favorites and the last of my beauty favorites, but um, I do have a couple more favorites I wanna share with you guys because I've been really excited about them. Um, basically the last month I've spent just relaxing and it's been so nice to not have to like stress and worry about school and exams and um, you know, all the stuff that goes with that. So I have a couple new TV show favorites um, that I wanna share with you guys. Um, the first one is Suits, which is about corporate lawyers in um, Manhattan. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, the characters are just flawlessly written. The dialogue is so cool. It's funny. It's exciting. And Lewis, Lit, and Harvey Specter are my two absolute favorite characters of the show. They're, I mean, Lewis Lit just has me like cracking up. He's so funny um, and Harvey just always has these like really cool like one-liners and he's just like he's like this attractive like man who's always like in a really nice suit has great hair and um, I'm not gonna get into like the whole like story or anything but if you are looking for a new TV show and you don't know what to watch I highly recommend you guys check that out and if, and if any of you already watch it let me know in the comments below I'd love to know who your guys' favorite characters are because oh, so good. Um, and then another favorite I have is um, American Horror Story. And at first I was like really scared to watch it because I'm such a chicken. I never watch horror movies. The first few episodes were really scary because it was like about a haunted house. Um, it's, an, it's an anthology so they have like a new story with different characters every season. But it's so good and if you guys want to watch a new season, or sorry, a new TV show, I highly recommend that one as well. So those are my two favorites at the moment. And then I have a couple books I want to share with you guys because I've been reading a lot lately. Um, I had been watching Elle Fowler's Vlogmas. Um, she had a couple of literatures um, that I was pretty excited about. So there were some books in there that I wanted to pick up. And one of them was Variant by Robison Wells. So this one is pretty exciting. I highly recommend it to anyone that likes books that have twists in them. So I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but basically it's about a uh, teenage boy that goes to a private school and realizes once he is at the private school that he and the other students are kind of trapped there. So it's basically a development of him trying to figure out um, what the school is and why they want to keep them there and also how to escape. So I kind of felt like the um, this one and the sequel, which is Feedback, which I also read, um, should have gone together because they felt more like um, one kind of complete story. Um, but this is the obviously the sequel and kind of goes into what happens past that point. I'm not going to tell you guys anything that happens in this one because I would kind of give away what happens in this one. Um, my last favorite for the month has been Raymond Legends for Wii U. And I got this back in September for like a celebratory gift for finishing one of my school courses. 
And obviously I didn't get much time to play it. I think I had played it like maybe once or twice, but I never really got to get into it. Um, but this past month I've been spending quite a bit of time playing video games. So I wanted to share this with you guys because if you are like me and you do like video games as well as makeup, then maybe you will be interested in this. It reminds me, it's kind of like similar, or not similar, but it's like reminiscent of um, old school like Mario games. Um, Nintendo games. The graphics are totally beautiful. Everything's really colorful and fun. And the music for this is so beautiful. It sounds like cinematic scores. So that's my last favorite for the month. If you guys like video games, I highly recommend you check this one out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been such a long time since I've filmed a favorites video and I could totally tell because I was like rambling so much. I hope you guys will just bear with me. I hope it's not going to be too long for you guys. Um, but if you'd like to see more favorites videos like these, then let me know in the comments below or give me a thumbs up just so I can kind of gauge that. It helps me a lot to kind of figure out what you guys like um, rather than just guessing and coming up with videos that you guys are not interested in, which is kind of the opposite of what I want to do. Send me an email or leave me a comment. Um, I love keeping in touch with you guys. Uh, it's the best part about YouTube. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.